Hello everybody, I'm Sieber and welcome back to the Global Company Tutorials. This is part four. Make sure you don't buzz off because we're going to get sticky. So we're going to take a look at the honey production for global company today and the first things that we're going to look at are we're going to look at these here so you've got a bucket there we go that is that holds 10 liters it's reusable and it costs 30 pounds then we have our bees which you can pick all of these up by hand uh, a box of bees is a hundred liters, which I would imagine is probably a hundred bees, and that will cost you seventy pounds. Then we've got the jars, which are not reusable. So once they are sold, you need to buy some more. Now the jars, you get eight in a crate. Uh, they hold half a liter each, and they cost fifty pounds. And like I said, the you need to replace them and you eventually will with the bees as well the bees don't stay forever so you will need to get replace replacement bees after a period and then finally we've got the honeycomb itself which is reusable that costs 40 pounds and that holds about i think it's five liters of honey per comb So, the next things, we have the room, as it's called, the honey room, which is a beehive, basically, and when you walk up to it, it, it gives you a prompt at the bottom there, and you've got your output and your input, and we've got nothing in there at the moment, we'll sort that out. Um, and if I get the controls panel up, we'll be able to see the controls for it. So this is a placeable item. So you need to place it on your map and you can't move it after you've placed it. So that is where it is. So first thing is you can open it by pressing X and then it opens up. And then to see the products menu, you press R and you can come in and you are able to see then exactly what's in it. It will hold 14 honeycombs and it will hold 400 bees. And then once it's full, the capacity is 14 piece, just like that. Uh, and uh, and that is basically it. You've got um, status, which is disabled there. And then you've got auto start, which is on. And you can turn that off here. Um, but, you know, just have it on all the time why would you why would you want it automatically working so you press escape to come out of there and so that is the box here we have the extractor now this holds five no this costs five thousand five thousand pounds sorry that box costs two thousand pounds uh, and this is movable so you can move it around wherever you want you pick it up move it da -de -da -de -da. so yeah and you can come up to that and you get close to it press X and it opens the lid and you can have a look inside and if you want to you can go into the overview for the extractor and then it, it's it's basically the same again so it, this holds only four honeycombs, so you four honeycombs at a time, um, and then its honey capacity will be 40 liters. So we come out of there, and then finally we have the the bottling machine. Now this costs 1,500 pounds. And it's also movable. I'm not going to move it too much. You can also change the color of the of the cabinet itself. Now this 
will hold 20 litres. So we've already got it loaded with 16 glasses, that's 100%. Put them there on the table. Look. Um, and then with the honey, it will hold 20 litres of honey. And then it will bottle them up and it will hold them on the end here. And then obviously we've got the shop where we need to sell them, but we'll we'll cover that once we've produced some honey. So the first things we'll do is you come up to your comb, just hover it over the top and it automatically goes in. So we'll fill this up with four. pop those in so that's as simple as that and then you grab your bees and do the same thing we get the lovely bee sound and a little animation of bees flying around us which is great so we'll pop four of those in there also I forgot to mention that the bucket is you can choose whatever color you want the bucket to be so we'll close that down and we see there it's, uh, it's showing on our little bit at the bottom on the right there that we've got four combs in there it's 28% full it's got 400 bees it's 100% full so we want some honey so we look at this and you see shows us all there, 28% full, 100% bees, and then we want to fill this up. So if we speed time up, so if we just come into here, and we want it on 4,000 to come out, and then we just speed our time up. And we can watch it. So the percentage is going down on the combs that we have empty and it's going up on the combs that we have full. So we're down to no pieces, we're going through the last one and we are at 20%. So we'll just slow time back down, there we go. Okay, so next thing we need to do, you can see that they have, the empty ones have moved to the right now, which is interesting. Okay, so we want to get our comb out. So to get our comb out, we come over here, and we click on honeycomb full, and then it brings up this little bit down here. And you can remove, and then it says spawn two pallets, and you say, yep. Yeah. And then we've got two there. And we pick, pick it up. We come over to our extractor and it automatically puts puts them in there. There we go. And we want two more maximum. Oh, it's only let me do one at a time now. I must have been stood in the trigger area. Not to worry, because it will let us take them out. Last time, oh, why won't it let me take that one out? Won't let me take that one out because it's only seven percent full, is it? Is that right? Yeah, it won't let me take it out. That doesn't seem right at all, does it? Well, it won't let me take out. What about if we put another one in there? We'll see if it lets us take it out now. No, it won't. Funny that. Anyway, we'll leave that for now. So we'll come over to here 
and we're looking at this we're going to need to speed up time again so we come to here that immediately done it so it doesn't need that much time to do it we'll slow time down again before it gets too dark so once that is once that has emptied all the honey out of the combs then you can you should be able to remove your empty ones and then pop them back in there but to get your honey out you take your bucket you bring it over you stick it under the tap and it fills up just like that and then once that's full it puts a lid on the top which is very nice and you come over and you just hold it in there and it extracts the honey just like that So that's 13 litres. And then we want that. So we'll speed up time a little bit. You see. honey in and then you just pick them up off of there and you bring them to the back of the store and they just automatically go in and there we go so our honey is now in the store I don't know if it actually put some in here yes it does so there we go they're on the counter just there ready to be sold so to look at the store you go into press R and it gives you the overview and it tells you right here sale of honey one liters per hour so that's selling two jars isn't it and that is basically how that works. So another another thing just to quickly look at, if you remember when I was talking in previous episodes about the blue dots on the map, uh, and it shows here under factory, so it shows us what we have. So we've got the farm shop the honey bottling plant, the honey extractor, and the honey room. And then that shows up the area where farm shop is and each individual item. So you just click on it and it will just flash a little blue dot at you. So uh, I, think that, I think that just about covers it doesn't it? Um, let's just actually, no, let's just uh, let's just show you where everything is in here. So for so for the beekeeping supplies they are under objects and then they've got their own little area and it's beekeeping supplies and then you've got your honeycomb, your honey box, your honey extractor and your bees and your honey bottling plant uh, that's 15,000 not 1500 sorry and so that's those there and then for 
the bucket is under your productions section for global company which is also in objects and then for your honey room is under placeables and it's just there um, so next episode we will cover fruit trees and we'll take a look at the placeable buildings for the productions okay so as we watch the beautiful sunset here at Felsbrunn and our lovely bees going off to get us more honey thanks for watching everybody stay safe and may the weather be with you